Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How's everything? Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. I can see Karen there, Helen there, Jacqueline, Lorena, Fernando. Okay, now I can see Fernando there. That's quite good. Buenas noches. Hola, good evening, Ingrid. Helen, good evening, Helen. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> uh, Lorena says. Uh, good evening. Lorena says good evening. Hey, Lorena. I can see Josue Artiga. Okay, do the favor to activate your camera. It's important, right? It's quite important. Yeah. We we said it yesterday in the class about the importance of activating the camera. Okay, Josue, now I can see you. That's better. I'm, I'm still waiting for Fernando and Helen so that they can activate the camera. Chuckling. Hello, how's everything there? Hello, 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 people. I have 12 people connected. Kenya is there. Ingrid is there. Now I can see Kenya. <laughs> Fernando, Ingrid. Okay, now I can see Ingrid, Helen. I wonder if you're still, uh, if you're having some problems, technical problems with your camera. Okay, we're gonna start, people. Uh, it's almost time to start. So we're gonna start exactly at eight o'clock so that we can take advantage of the 60 minutes we are in church of working tonight. Well, you know the ABC, right? The alphabet. You were studying the alphabet, you were practicing the whole day, you were saying like A, B, C, D, E. And people were just like seeing you, that you were practicing English tonight. I mean, during the day. Uh-huh, so I think we're gonna have a great time tonight. And everybody's going to tell us about the ABC. Fernando, why don't you tell us the ABC tonight? Uh, Fernando Peralta. Yeah, Mr. Peralta, all right. Um, ahorita. Now everybody's ready with the alphabet, right? I told you that was a homework assignment, okay? Uh, lo repito, lo digo. Please. A, B, C, D, E, F, E, A, I, A, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, U, C. Y, Z. All right. So there are some y, words. Hey, ex excellent. I can see that you have been practicing English. Okay. Remember, tonight, everybody needs to be ready with the alphabet. Mr. Artiga, go ahead with the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, J, K, L, M, N, A, O P Q R S T U B W X Y Z. Great, thank you. Good at Hi, teacher. Hi. A B C D E F G H I J K L M M O P Q R S T U B W X 
Y, and Z. Thank you. Jasmine Esmeralda. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, okay, it's A, B, C, D, E. Um, ya me confundí. Okay, you can start now. Okay, de nuevo. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, L, M, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, by Z. Y, Z. Okay, thank you. Benedicto. Okay. Hello, buenas noches. Hello, good evening, good evening. Hello, good evening. All right, tell us the ABC, please. Hola. Hello, hello, the alphabet, did you learn the alphabet? Hello. Jose? La vecindario. Yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, C. Thank you. Thank you, Benedicto. Okay. Now, we're going to try with somebody else, and then we're going to start with the class. Irma Dalila. Good evening. Good evening. Um, the alphabet. Please. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, K, A, um, L, M, O, P, U, U, vaya otra vez, otra vez, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, K, J, M, L, M, O, P, U, W, X, <laughs> okay, okay. Now don't worry because we're gonna we're gonna have some review about it. Okay, we just started with it yesterday. Let's listen to Jose Urbina. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Uh, the alphabet. Yeah. Uh, A B C D E F G and H, H, I, J, K, L, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, B, W, X, creo que J, Y, 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 y Z. And Z. All right. Pretty good. Now, well, let's why, see. Why? Yeah, that, that, that's the letter Y. Okay, now, is there a volunteer who wants to say the alphabet like quickly and very well pronounced? Uh, thank you, Carla. Go ahead. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, A, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. Perfect, quite good. Now, I think you have been practicing a lot. Okay, Jacqueline, I thought you would raise your hand. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, Lorena, I okay. got your message. 
Fantastic. Quite good. Now we are going to go over uh, some info that I have here and we're going to do it as quickly as possible uh, so that we can we can advance okay with the class tonight. Now it happens that in English we have how many layers do you think we have in English? How many 20. layers do we have in English? 26. 26, 26. right? So and we are going to count them. Uh huh. A. A. B. 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 C. C. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna use the numbers one, A. two, B. three, C. four, D. five, D. six, S. seven, G. B. eight, A. H. Z. 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 Now you are clear Z. that we have 26 letters and now that you have studied them, now you know the, the, the way to pronounce them, right? Mm -hmm. So you have, I, I already shared the link so that you can have extra information as you wish, okay? Because you have like some info that's important, right? It is important for you to read it, okay? You can read it uh, later. That's why I shared the link with you. But what really matters to me is that you, uh, you to be aware about having 26 letters in English, okay? Now, it happens also that we have um, the pronunciation over here, okay? So in the pronunciation, In the pronunciation, we have it like like the following. Right? <clears throat> listen, okay, please listen and repeat, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Okay, says Z. You will see you Y by EnglishClub.com. Okay. Now, did you listen to the guy? Escucharon? Yes. All right. So the first one, A. Everybody, let's repeat. A. A. B. A, B. C. C, D, D, E, E, e F, 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 G, G. No, but e. look at it. It has a D, Z, and Y. It's like G. G, G, G. 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 It is not only G, G, no, G, G. no, G. 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 H. 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 Now, listen carefully. H. A I J J No, it is not J J no J J K K L M M N M O O 
Z is like this, right? But in British, you say Z. Okay. okay. So American is the one that we are learning, right? So that's why we say Z. 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 Clear? Yeah. Okay. So now actually, I shared the link also about the easy info, and I think, and I hope that you can practice by your own. Well, there's a song, we're not going to use it because, it, well, it's about. A video in, in YouTube and that may create some problems over here. So let me see because I have this also. As you can see, the sums are divided by categories. And we say, for example, A, 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 H. A, 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 this is the sound, H. right? A, 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 H, A, H, A, H, A, H, A, 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 a. 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 B. A. B. B. C. C. D. 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 E. 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 G. G. B. E. D. E. F. 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 L. M. 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 S. X. Z. But remember, say this in British, right? This will be yeah. like Z. It should be over mm -hmm. here, Z, right? In British, will be over here. You see? Mm -hmm. I mean, in American, Z. 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 No, Z is in British. That, that's uh, something different. They would say I. I. I y. 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 O. O. o, 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 o Q. U. Q. Q. U, U, Q, U, Q, U, U Mm. R. 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 All right, so we're doing it quite well. Now we're gonna work a little bit with some with some names. Okay, I will play the the track uh, about some names, and then you are gonna tell me the names. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Now, for example, hey, you're gonna use the chat. Van a usar el chat. Van a ir escribiendo el nombre que van escuchando. Okay. 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 Number one. M A R Y. Okay, number one. M A R Y. Type it. Escribanlo en el en el en el chat, por favor. Repeat. M A R Y. M A R Y. Okay, very good. Now I mean not only the letter. Okay, my boy. Listen, listen to it. M A R Y. Ah. Maoi? No, no, it's not Maoi. May? No. Moi? No. Why? No. Mayo? No. Oh, M? Oh. No. Meoi? Uh uh. M A R Y. Noi? Uh uh. Listen. M A R Y. Excellent. Griselda got it. M-A-R-Y Look M-A-M-A-R-Y <laughs> M-A-R-Y Number two, we're going to make ten Vamos a hacer diez nada más No quiero ver si nos alcanza el tiempo No, vamos a hacer cinco Pero les va a quedar de tarea que ustedes hagan por lo menos veinte Mary Mary was that one, right? Number two Mary No, number two Number two. A N N A. Okay. A N N A. A M M A N N A. O O O O. An. Ah, okay. Listen. A N N A. Ah, okay. Very good. I think somebody got it. Let's see if it is correct. Now here we go. A A N N A. Wow, awesome. A and -N, N A, very good number. 
Anna. P-A-T-R-I-C-I-A. Okay, I think this is a last one, okay? P-A-T-R-I-C-I-A. 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 Pato? Pato Soa? Patricia? Pato. P-A-T-R-I-C-I-A. Ah, let's see if it is this one. Let's see. Let us see. P-A-T-R-I-C-I-A. Wow, that was Patricia. P-A-T-R-I-C-I-A. P-A-T-R-I-C-I-A. Quite good. Patricia. That's Patricia, right? Hey, do you want to try an extra one? Quieren, quieren practicar un último? Sí. Okay, here we go. Patricia. No, not Patricia. S-O-P-H-I-A. 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 Uh-huh. S-O-P-H-I-A. Sopoa? Ah, Sophia, maybe, right? Let's see. S-O-P-H-I-A. Okay, somebody got it on here. That was Sophia, right? S-O-P-H-I-A. Good. Quite good. That was Sophia. Sophia. Now, I think it's enough, right? No, I, I think we, we, we have time for another one. L-I-N-D-A. 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 Hey, what happened there? Sara, no, Sofia, no. Lonta, loin. Onta, lonta. Lota. <laughs> ah, Linda. Oh, yeah, I think Linda got it, right? L-I-N-D-A. That was Linda, right? Quite Linda. Good. Pretty good. Now, we did it like 10. Hicimos 10. Así que les quedan de tarea 10 más por lo menos. El que quiera correr la extra milla, miren, hay 60. Ok, para que practiquen muchísimo. All right. So, well, actually, we still have some time. Ok. Um, where, where is the page? Uh, uh, ah, the page is in the WhatsApp group. Ah, uh, it's a, it a text did you did you send. Yeah, exactly. Is the, the information I share in the group. Okay? okay. So, but if you need it out here, there you are. That's quite good. Okay. Now, let's see. Oh, let me see. I need to open something here. Because we need to practice a little bit more. Remember, we're practicing about the ABC. The ABC, something quite good. Now, we're going to do. Remember, you have two conversations, right? You have a conversation that you learn. I like about, what's your name? My name is uh, Jacqueline. Okay, Jacqueline uh, Hernandez. Okay. They say, uh, I'm Enrique Morales. Okay. Uh, what's your last name again, please? What's, what's, it's Hernandez. How do you spell Hernandez? And then you start by spelling your name. Now, I will teach you. Yeah, I will teach you or I will ask you to spell your names. Okay, now for example, uh, oh, 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 let me see. Uh, Beatriz Reyes. Beatriz, how do you spell your name? Now listen, listen carefully. Vamos a hacer algo. Cuando les pida que deletreen el, el nombre, no van a poder eh, borrar lo que yo dijiste acá. O sea, va a quedar el nombre así como me lo, me lo dicten. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Beatriz. Okay. How do you say, how do you spell Beatriz? B E A T R I Z. All right, pretty good. <clears throat> Thank you, Beatriz. Jacqueline, how do you spell Elizabeth? 
Jay. Say Jay? No, I say Elizabeth, Elizabeth. How do you spell Elizabeth? If <laughs> L I C A E E Hey. And that's it. Pretty good. Thank you. Let me see. Kenya, how do you spell Hernandez? Hi. Hi. Good evening. Hernandez. Yeah. H. E. E. R. N. A N D E Z. Okay, Juan Antonio, thank you. Juan Antonio, how do you spell Antonio? Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, J. No, how do you spell Antonio? No, A Antonio. Antonio, how A do you spell Antonio? A N T O N I O. Like that one? I think you 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 mispronounced the N, right? It's Antonio, no Antonio, right? Uh, Ingrid, how do you spell oh, Carranza? Yeah. V A R Z Z Z No C okay. C A R R A N Z A All right, thank you very much. Uh, Luis An uh, Jose Angel, how do you spell Romero? Good evening, teacher. Romero, R O M E R O. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, well, uh, Benedicto, how do you spell uh, Mendes? Hello, Benedicto, are you there? C T O T T O C F S no Benedicto Yeah okay Benedicto go ahead S B B E E N N E E D D E E C C T T O O. Now it, it is not Bennett. Look, look. How do you say I? Uh, how do you say I? How do you say E in English? Sorry. <laughs> ¿Cómo dice la E en inglés, Benedicto? E. No, esa es la E. Ah, perdón. <coughs> La letra I en inglés. I. Ah, all right. So it's I. Benedicto. Okay, very good. And we finally have Rebecca. How do you spell Rodriguez? Rebecca. Sabía que iba a decir eso. R. D. R. E. D. U. E. Z. Like this one? R O uh, once once again, pay attention. Once again, one R O R O D D R R E E D G U U E E C Z Z 
Z. Now, what? There is a problem over here. How do you say it's a C? I, I, I. Uh, it's I, right? Rodriguez. Pretty good. Now, hey, we're going to stop. Sigan practicando porque mañana vamos a seguir con esto, ¿ok? Necesito asegurarme de que lo manejan muy, muy bien. All right. So that was quite good. Now, hey, in order to continue, right, we are going to go over a topic that's about the verb to be. Okay, and in the verb to be, now, I, I will tell you the following, people. Voy a decirle lo siguiente. Nunca vamos a dar por sentado que un tema ya terminó. No, yo tengo más de 20 años estudiando inglés y siempre me gusta estudiarlo. Así que si ya nos aprendimos el alfabeto, ok, no digamos ya estuve, ya me lo aprendí. No, hay que, hay que volvernos como el maestro en el, en el alfabeto, el maestro en los, en los temas que hemos venido estudiando. De esa manera van a, van a pegar pasos firmes en inglés, ok. Y no van a hesitar al momento de que se les pregunte respecto a algo eh, que ya hayan, ya hayan estudiado, all right. Uh, well, this is something that we studied yesterday. Uh, we also studied about the, the alphabet. Uh, tonight we, we were, uh, uh, well, I have this exercise that's about uh, spelling names and I think we're gonna finish with it, okay? So do me the favor, people, to tell me about the name you listen to and we're gonna finish with the ABC by using this exercise, okay? Listen, please. What you're gonna tell me is, is John with A without H or John with H? Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The alphabet knowledge. Okay, we're gonna try. How do you spell the name? Do you listen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now you're gonna tell me what what is the correct yes. one. Listen and check the correct answers. Number one. One. Your name is John Lee? That's right. And how do you spell your first name, Mr. Lee? It's J-O-N. Okay, thank you. Number two. Two. Sarah Brown. Your first name is spelled S-A-R-A-H? No, my name is spelled S-A-R-A. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Yes. It's S A R A. Got it. Number Thanks. Th number three. Three. My name is Stephen Jones. Thank you. Stephen. That's S T E V. No, it's spelled S T E P H E N. Oh, excuse me. S T E P H E N. That's right. Number four. Four. Your name, please. It's Catherine Simpson. Is that K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E? -E? No, it's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. Oh, so it's K-A-T-H-R-Y-M. Thank you, Ms. Simpson. And the last one. <laughs> Five. And what's your first name, please? It's Chris. Is your name spelled C-H-R-I-S? No, it's spelled K-R-I-S. Chris with a K. Chris with a K. Thanks. Chris with a K. All right. So mm -hmm. what's the first one? First or second? First. 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 Conversation yeah. two. First or second? First. 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 Conversation three. First or second? Second. 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 Conversation four, first or second? Second. 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 Conversation five, first or second? First. 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 Wow, people. You're becoming very experts in the ABC. Se están haciendo expertos en el ABC. Pretty good. Congrats. Congratulations. Now, we're going to see this video, okay? Uh, Juan Antonio, I can see you have your, your hand raised. Do you have any question, Juan Antonio? Uh, no. No. Ah, okay. Because I see you, you raised your hand. Okay. 
Now, everybody, let us see something that's about the verb to be. Uh, this is grammar, and it is uh, something important. As you can see, you can you you are in charge of saying your name by using the verb to be. I am Joe. You you are you. We learn to say my name is right. My name is Enrique. Oh. Your name is blah blah blah. His name is her name is etc. But though here we're gonna go uh, by using directly the 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 verb to be. Am um, is are. So when someone tells you about the ABC in present, so you need to be clear that the ABC in English is arm, um, is, or are. Cuando alguien les, les menciona el verbo to be o be en presente, ya ustedes deben de saber que esto es las tres formas bases am, um, is, are. This is the verb to be. All right, and okay. you have it over here. Um, is and I think we're gonna see something else there. Okay, so but uh, pay attention, please. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be, which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart, you can see the pronoun I, that will be equals to M. For the pronouns you, we, and they, you're going to use are. And for the pronouns he, she, and it, then uh, we're going to use is. So, um, if we look at the examples, I'm Jennifer Miller. This is the same thing as saying, I am Jennifer Miller. I am, I am. You can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right-hand right side of the screen. Now, let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. You're. She's in our class. She is. Jennifer is she in is. our class. He's over there. He's Steven over there. is over there. He's. It's my math book. It's, it's Miller. It's. My last name is Miller. It's. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is the subject. And as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So, for example, I am Joe. So we got a subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. OK, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence, uh, and um, hmm. if you remember, uh, for that we're going to use the verb to be is. He is, and we're going to say uh, Mario. That's his name. Um, he. Then we're going to say he is. Um, uh, mechanic. Mechanic. He is at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they. Uh, and they are my co-workers now let's
let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that, that you see here on this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Uh, then there's one last question there, how are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes or no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar, with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you, and I'm going to paste it here, because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun okay so we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun and that's how you form questions there's a way to um, create questions so people. look at the example are you stephen carson we move the verb to be before the pronoun that's you right. okay so our formula needs to change uh now instead of uh, the subject at the beginning we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning and then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun, okay? And then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order. And that's basically how we form questions. Um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom. Um, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here. Am I Joe? All right. Am I Joe? Questions, so the right? The first question is question for question. Am I Joe? Yeah, obviously you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? Okay. No. Um I'm and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, Am I yo? Am I an English I'm teacher? English. Am I an English teacher? Right. And then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is Mario. Okay, if I want to ask the question, I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning. And I'm going to say, is he, is he Mario? Is it Mario? Mario. Okay. Is he a mechanic? Is he mechanic is at work is he at work are at work they are they work are they my com com are they my co-workers now what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. All right. So, well, actually, that's the information that I want you to see about the verb to be. Uh, I have uh, some exercises on here. We're going to go over one of them only. Okay. One of them. And then uh, I. Yeah. Goes with. Um, I am. Um, I am. I am, right? Yeah, I think it is like I am, right? It's <clears> like <throat> let me see if I can do it. You can do it, teacher. I hope. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna move to another one because I am I'm facing some problems. So I hear now you can see. I think I it's am. Really... You can... Hey Juan, what, what about it? Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> well, just solve it by your 
<laughs> We're gonna try this one because it was very difficult for me to 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 take it to the right. Okay, I Michael. Um, I am. I am. You, you, are. You, are. you are my sister. He is. He is. He is. He is my father. She. She is. My mother. She is my mother. We. We are. are, 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 are cousins. And you, you are, 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 are my aunts, and they are, 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 are. okay. So oh, we got the one hundred percent, right? So remember, uh, when when you want to make questions, you say "Am I?" If you want to make question over here, are you? Are you? Are you? Over here, is he? Over here, is he? Is he? Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Are, are you? They, are they? Excellent. Are, are they, they my grandparents? My, are they my aunts? Are they my cousin? Etc. Right. So actually, this is what we have just started. All right. And you know, in order to to start with something else, okay, because I will ask about it tomorrow also. Okay. Zero numbers. Now we're gonna learn something that that this is asking us to go over it. But before going to that, we're gonna finish with this exercise about the verb to be. All right. Let's see another exercise. It says complete the conversations by filling in the blanks. And we have the first. Okay. Excuse, me. Excuse me, are you still in Carson? No. I am not. I am not. I am not. I am not. No, I'm not. No. I am not. I'm not. My I'm name not. David not. Melina. Medina. Yes. 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 My I name is David Medina. Steven. Uh, are, are you uh, Steven Carson? Steven is still over there. Steven R. Steven R. Steven R. Over there. Yes. Steven mm -hmm. is yeah. over there, right? Yeah. 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 Are you Steven Carson? Are you Steven Carson? Are you Steven Carson? Hi. Hi. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Hi, I am. I am or I'm. And the last one? It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Wow. Quite good, people. Quite good. It's I am or I'm or is is. Okay, quite good. No problems with the word to be. Excellent, people. Quite good. The word to be is, is a piece of cake, right? It's a now, cake. It's a piece of cake. Now, I think we're going to finish by seeing this video. And later, we're going to practice some numbers, okay? So pay attention because I don't know how long is this video, but it's quite important for you to see it. What is the purpose? Well, tomorrow we're going to work in a conversation, okay? Mañana vamos a trabajar una conversación. Eh, y hay que añadir la información que hemos ven venido estudiando durante la semana, ¿ok? Vayan pensando en cómo crear una pequeña conversación porque mañana vamos a trabajar un poco en ello, ¿ok? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give phone numbers. Let's get started by going over the numbers from 1 through 10. Let's listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Number. Zero. 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 One. 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 Two. 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 Three. 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 Four. 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 Five. 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 Six. 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 Seven. 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 Eight. 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 Nine. 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 Ten. 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 Practice by reading out the numbers that you see on the screen. Look at the numbers. Two o one. Two, two, Anna, Anna Silvas, Silvas work, Anna work, 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 yes, go on, one, five, 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 two, four, nine, one, 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 one
home phone number. Yes. And it's still was cell phone number is get the idea. James Lang phone number. James Lang work phone number is eight hundred five five. Eight, 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 James Lang home phone number is six zero four five zero five 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 two seven one four. James Lang's cell phone number is two five zero five 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 one zero two three. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. For example, my work phone number is 713-695-3539. All right, as you can see, something that you need to keep in mind when, when giving the phone numbers is that the, the zero, no se pronuncia zero cuando se dan números de teléfono, sino que dicen O. Oh, Two one five 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 two four nine one. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Why? Oh, here. Well, that's the way they, they. I mean, American people do it, right? So they don't say zero, but they say oh. Okay. Okay. No, I mean, there's no any other explanation about it. Okay. No, I will stop sharing this part because we're almost done. We're still missing like uh, some minutes over here, but well, I, I, I highly recommend you to well, give me a second. Well, I have this picture. I I I also share it. This one, okay. In order for you to to get more familiarized with some other numbers, as you saw tonight, we numbers started about zero zero zero. But we discovered that mm, when telling the phone no a phone number, we don't say zero. How do we say? Oh 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 oh. oh. Zero. Zero. Phone zero. number? Oh. Zero. Oh. 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 zero. One. 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 Two. 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 And 10, right? So we have started up to number 10. Uh, well, but if you want, you can see what you, we, we can also one have trillion. one trillion numbers on here. One thousand. One, one thousand. One ten thousand. Ten thousand. And you have like, three. you have like all of them. One, like one hundred. One hundred. One thousand. One. Fifty-three. Now 53, listen. Twenty-three. Now listen. Uh, well. This is this is a, a recommendation, okay? Un, solo como recomendación. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, pues avanzamos hasta Ten. acá. Mm -hmm. Okay, en el video Ten. nos dejaron hasta acá. Pero yo les Zero. comparto esta página para que ustedes, aquellos que quieran um, avanzar a su ritmo, a su ritmo. 100. Okay? O oh, de manera un poco más rápido, pues... Aquí están estos enlaces, ¿ok? Imagínense que hasta One trillion. nos dan hasta este número, ¿ok? Pero por lo menos que ustedes eh, se decidieran a estudiar hasta el 100 estaría magnífico, ¿ok? Tienen como se escribe, 92. tiene la pronunciación, 
Y si usted quiere estarlo repitiendo varias veces, solo, 92, solo lo mueve. 92, 92. Y lo vuelve a pronunciar. Ok, to pronounce it. Ok, questions about it? No. No, no, no questions, yeah. right? So creo que solo fallamos en un ejercicio que es este. El, <laughs> el enlace que compartió <laughs> es de, de dictado de nombre, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, ese, esos enlaces están ahí en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. El de los números también. Sí, ahí están, ahí están okay. todos. No eh, entiendo por qué no me lo lleva hasta arriba. Otra pregunta. Ah, ayer. Ok, no. Ajá, tell me. Um, ayer compartió algo sobre como que los posesivos. Ah, ok. Also, uh, possessive adjectives. Ajá. Pero en la columna parecía subject, object, y luego posesivo. Ah, uh, ya. Yeah. yeah, that's uh -huh. right. So, eh, por el momento, no tomen en cuenta el object, ¿ok? Porque es algo que no hemos visto. Eso lo uh -huh. sería el subject pronoun, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, y el uh -huh. possessive adjective. Uh, I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its. Uh, we are you, your, and they, their. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about possessive, uh, about, about object pronoun. No, déjenlo así como por un ladito para mientras el, el object pronoun. Okay. Okay. No, la, no lo arrastre. Apretelo y aprete donde lo quiere poner. Y lo dice. No, debo de arrastrar. Ah. Uh, okay. Pero no nos dejemos. Hi. Yang. Um, uh, you are. He is. 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 You, you are. Okay, you are and they are. are. They are, are right? Ya so, tiene mucho yeah. zoom la pantalla. Eso es. Déjenme see. Yeah. Let us try with this then. I am, yeah. I think. Yeah, I am. Yeah. You That's are. Thank you. You are. You are. <laughs> she. <laughs> she. You. You are. You are. She is. She is in. There is a problem over here, right? Ah, I think this is a problem, right? You are. Look. Okay, we did it. <laughs> hey, thank you, people. You are very kind. You're very kind. Me hicieron la noche porque no me gusta dejar nada afuera, ¿ok? Pretty good. So, I hope, <coughs> espero que haya sido muy significativa esta noche. Son 60 minutos. Eh, pues, me la paso súper bien. Yo tengo más de 20 años de estar estudiando inglés y... Me divierto tanto en las sesiones de básico como en las sesiones de avanzado. Es algo que, que me encanta y espero que a ustedes también les encante después de que hayan pasado 20 años estudiando inglés. Okay. Es algo que no... Es algo que la verdad pues yo se los recomiendo que nunca se detengan y que hagan de una hora nada más como como la escalerita para, para ustedes caminar, ¿verdad? Yo, si ustedes se fijan, ahí voy compartiendo enlaces como diciéndoles, hey, este es el camino, este es el camino, nos dan hasta el 10, ¿por qué no le entramos hasta el 100? Pero eso ya depende de cada quien, ¿ok? Eso depende de cada quien cómo quieren llevar el ritmo de su aprendizaje. Hoy con, con la tecnología estamos a un clic para aprender o para seguir aprendiendo, ¿ok? Así que, pues, no sé si hay preguntas. No. No question. No. Vaya, los dejo con la tarea siempre. Porque mañana voy a, voy a 
voy a chequear el ABC, que lo estén pronunciando bien, especialmente con esas, con esas letras de la A, que tienden a confundir algunos, la E, la, e, la I, la J, uh, ¿con cuál otra creo que se confunde? Sí. Con, la, con la Y, ok, son, son letras que mmm, las aprendemos y ya pues nunca se nos deben de olvidar. Okay. Además de eso, les dejo la tarea de que vayan pensando en una conversación en donde apliquen lo que hemos venido estudiando. Hey, ¿Cuál es su nombre? Mi nombre es tal. ¿Cómo, ¿Cuál es tu apellido? Pues Morales. ¿Cómo deletreas tu apellido? Y empiezan. O sea, hacer una conversación eh, sencilla, pero que nos demuestre que eh, efectivamente estamos dando el paso en su momento. Okay? Que no nos estamos quedando atrás. Así que los dejo con ese pensamiento. Y nos vemos el día de mañana. Bendiciones. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you for the class. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.